I came up to the cabin for a little R&R, and even though I arrived later than expected, I decided to put the ham on anyway. Since I didn't have time for my normal preparations, my coals were inadequate for cooking in such low temperatures, and I had to make some adjustments to my cooking strategy. I circled a pot with stones, and these small pieces of wood here will give more longevity to my coals. Camera will pick it up. You can hear it simmering. You hear that simmering away? I got started later than I wanted to. The project, but I, f I think it'll be okay. Now I didn't have ample time for my fire to produce the coals that I need, and I'm not into spending money on charcoal. I just had to improvise a little bit, but this should do the job just fine. My coals on the top were petering out real quick, so I just put a little bit of wood just to keep all the heat from escaping the coals. I knew that it would ignite the wood a little bit and it's just simmering because otherwise it's so cold out that the heat is uh, disappearing too fast. I just put a little bit of wood along the edges there. Ah, uh, looks like Frankie just wants to play. <laughs> When I got started a bit too late, I was hoping to light the fire around 11 this morning, have it time to generate some coals. I didn't even get here till 12.30. And the cabin was, you know, 20 degrees on the inside. And I got that warmed up and the fire going out here. And it's going though. I'm, I'm confident with it. I think it'll be okay. It might not be perfect, but I think it'll be all right. Well, I got my fire going here. I just had to be a little bit non-traditional and amp it up a little bit by putting some wood on top like that. Uh, I feel a little uh, help retain the heat because it's just about 22 degrees out right now. Chickadees are busy at the feeder. They're happy to see me. <laughs> I can smell ham from here, man. Scrape those coals off the top. Oh. Look at that, boy. Look at those potatoes, man. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's fabulous. Oh man. Just enough scorching. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. When I put this on, I really had to bank the coals around it. I had to have a fire around it actually. Because it's cold out today. And I didn't have the fire burning long enough to make a lot of coals like I really needed. So I actually had to have little pieces of wood burning around the pot. So I poured in about ah, three quarters of an inch of water, I guess, into the pot. And it's just, uh, I, the, part of the bottom of the pot is wet, but nothing is scorched. I mean, take a look at this. Oh, see, nothing is scorched under there. Look at that, look at that piece of meat. Ah. Oh. <laughs> ah, baby, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm thrilled to death. What can I tell you? I'm going to bring this in. I'm just going to let it sit in the pot because I'm really not ready to eat quite yet. Probably sit by the stove, have a beer, and, uh, what? Yeah, throw toys. Here you go. Crazy border collie. A lot of folks have been saying, when are you going to do some more cooking videos? <laughs> When are you going to do more trapping videos? Well, I'm one man, you know. Uh, I, I, try, I can't keep everybody happy, so I'm just going to have to do it as I do it. But I'm going to be staying here a lot through the winter. Uh, I'll be doing all kinds of cooking and all kinds of stuff, so I got a lot coming up. I want to do a few more of the uh, Backwoods Logic series. Um, I'm going to... Do some wood stove cooking, uh, some more Dutch oven, more Dutch oven cooking. I'm going to get really in-depth with this. 
I'm going to have like three or four Dutch ovens going at once and show you some pretty cool stuff. But here it is. It's a... Uh, it's probably colder now because it's starting to get dark. Uh, it'll be dark in a little while. Um, it's probably 20 degrees now. And uh, I cooked this ham a couple hours, two and a half hours really, and you can see and it's come out awesome. I wish I put more carrots in there though. My carrots kind of Oh, but they're good. Oh. <laughs> eh, enough said. It's time for supper. And look at this. Look how easy that just comes apart. Is that incredible? For something so simple, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Watch this. Look at that. It just peels apart. Oh. Time to do the dishes. I've got the pot on to boil, and any food particles that have been baked on should lift right off on their own. It's gonna clean up good. That's the way to do it, right there. Yeah, yeah, that's nothing stuck. No soap needed here. Now you see nothing was stuck to that pot. I didn't use any metal scrubbers or anything. I just used a sponge and everything came off. I just boiled it and all lifted up, came right off. Piece of cake. Using harsh detergents or metal scrubbers will only compromise the seasoning. Once the seasoning has been compromised, food will stick more, which will make you scrub more, and you'll be going in the opposite direction with your seasoning. Nothing stuck in that pan. Nothing stuck in there. Look at that. Come on, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna set that back on that on the coals there. Wipe the moisture right out of it. And as the pot is heating up, got a little olive oil. I'm going to let it soak into the pores as the pot is warm. Now I'm not putting a big thick coating on there like as if I was polyurethaning a floor or something like that. You put on heavy oils, they end up drying on there and it, that's how you end up with the sticky pots. You get a pot that's got a lot of oil on there that's stuck on it and you smell it. It smells rancid especially if you use vegetable oil. I, I really discourage you from using vegetable oil. Just a very light coating of olive oil. You can see how light of a coating I have in there. I'm letting the iron heat up. I'm gonna let that soak into the pores and I'm gonna put some more. I'm gonna let that soak in. And then I'm gonna wipe it with a dry paper towel because I don't want any extra in here at all. 
anything you leave extra is going to dry on here and you don't want it to dry on here you want it to be absorbed and then anything that's left is what you want to wipe away you don't want any puddles or anything because anything that's left is going to get sticky then I give the outside a light coating of oil and she'll be ready for another go of it if you care for it properly cast iron will last your lifetime mm -hmm.